Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech and in this video we're going to be talking about how to mine Alfium. And Alfium is a new cryptocurrency that I stumbled upon. Uh, got a pretty good looking website. All the information ticks all the right boxes for me. Now this isn't going to be a deep dive on the project itself, but it does use a different type of proof of work, or at least they call it a different type of proof of work, called proof of less work, which uses a clever combination of physical work and token economics to dynamically adjust the work required to mine new blocks, ensuring a reduced energy footprint compared to the classic Nakamoto POW mining. Now, I'm still testing this and you may join me as well because I'm going to show you how to get started on both Windows and Hive. But they tick all the right boxes for me. They got a good looking block explorer. They got a good looking website. They do have a social media presence. It's not as profound as some of the other cryptocurrencies. They're based out of Switzerland and you got to love the Swiss. And as far as the market goes, it's $1.24 per token right now at time of filming. And the chart only goes back to January 12, 2022. So it's new to us. Um, and they also provide a plenty of support vehicles out there. They got a medium, they got discord, telegram, reddit. I will want to warn you that you guys need to be patient with any of the project developers or pool moderators and developers, because as new people influx onto a new cryptocurrency questions answered or questions need to be answered, but things need to be improved upon. So just be patient with them to get started. It can be a little bit daunting for, for new users. When you start looking at the wiki they have as far as setting up a full node and getting your miner, your GPU miner up and running, it is quite a few steps you need to do. However, I personally like something like this. Reminds me of the OG days of mining before they had nothing but GUIs and easy, easy software to get started. So I'm not going to take you through this, but if you're interested in learning about it, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. But right now, each block gives you about three alephanum. So it's, it's kind of the price of it and the overall profitability, I can't tell you with 100%, this is what you're gonna get. This calculator on this particular pool, DevGent uh, tells us one thing and then this calculator tells us another thing down here at the bottom. It only tells us the blocks per day. But right now I wouldn't focus too much on profitability. If you're interested in learning how to mine a new cryptocurrency, this is where I, I really love to tinker and learn. So DevGent, by the way, the pool gave me some issues. So I am using metapool.tech and personally the moderators and, and developers on that pool have been uh, very helpful in, in helping me out because there was a situation that I needed to address and they did take care of that. We'll get to that in a moment. To get started though with metapool.tech, they got a really good onboarding process. You can see that the server address is at the very top. Hang on to that because we first need to get a wallet. To get a wallet, you could click this link right here which takes you to this page. It's a GitHub page and the Lefinum wallet is version 1.1.0 at time of filming. You just scroll on down and get the version for your operating system. So for me on this Windows system, it's gonna be EXE. You click it, download it, you open it. When you open it, you're gonna to have to go through any basic process that you normally do, do with any other wallet, right? So when you open it, it's gonna ask you, create a wallet, import, welcome back, whatever. Type in your account password if you already have one. If you don't have one, you can import, from my understanding, you can import your wallet that your four addresses that you would have gotten from the full node into this, but don't quote me on that. Otherwise, um, you can just create a new one, get your single address, and of course, as you go through the process, you gotta give it a name, you gotta give it a password, type it in twice, you get your 24 word phrase, and then back up that phrase, and then it's gonna test to make sure you know the proper order. Just like any other wallet that we ever dealt with, Simple, clean, nice little GUI, looks pretty good. There's a night theme, there's a day theme. So very simple. Once you have your wallet set up, you obviously need to go find your address. So when you open it up on the left-hand side, you would see your balance in the top left, show address, send or lock the wallet. Just go to set, show address, copy that and hang on to that for right now. Next, how do we set it up on Windows? Well, they got nice little buttons right here for us guys, super easy. So you click on Windows, and it's gonna say create a local folder where you would like to start store the mining software. Now I already did this, but I'm gonna take you through the process once again. So in this folder that I have in my downloads, as you can see, I have files in it, but I'm gonna delete it. Oh no. I go back and in this folder in my downloads, and you can put this folder wherever you want, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna mouse over that folder 
you're gonna hold the shift key and then you're gonna right click and choose open shell window here this is gonna open up a nice little blue window for you and we need to copy the script that's right down here in bold if we copy that and paste it in this window you will see it tells you something it will actually detect the GPU you're on watch detected NVIDIA GPU downloading appropriate miner and then it tells us to get started you must first edit the file config.json and insert your mining address afterward you can simply start mining with metapool by using the PowerShell script or the command applet so if we close this window out and go back to our downloads or the folder that we just moved this to you would see all the files that you saw earlier now we got to edit the config first sometimes it doesn't show the notepad document don't worry just right click on it and choose open with and then choose notepad when you do this there's everything we need and then it says your mining address just replace that with the wallet address that you just got and then control s or file save then when you save it all you have to do is either run the command applet or the PowerShell script to get started now I've had issues with the command applet but I prefer PowerShell anyway so what I actually do is I right click this PowerShell script and then I run with PowerShell this is gonna open up three windows the PowerShell window which is blank the window that advises that we're connected to the pool at the very top and then the minor window that actually shows the solutions and hash rate you're getting now we're on the RTX 3080 LHR and I'm averaging about 1.8 giga hash right now and I'm not even tuning my GPU I haven't played around with clocks or anything I'll worry about that later I just want to show you how to get started mining because the more users that are mining we can all share data with each other I'm getting it at this clocks with this mem with this TDP and that would really help me out I'm super interested to hear your thoughts so now we're mining on Windows how do we get started on Hive well if you click the Hive OS button on this page it does give us a plain Jane kind of setup Just create a wallet download the uh, flight sheet well we already have our wallet so we can go do that right now and you can see when I switch over to Hive OS that I am mining Alephinum right now but for you you need to set up your wallet first so what I like to do is I like to go to flight sheets if I'm already on a worker and then click the wallet page but if you're just first loading in you can just go straight to wallets and then add wallet obviously you need to find a ticker. So if we click in here you may not see a lift them at the top you may have e flux fear or whatever but if you type in a l p h there it is you put in your single address that you have here capitalizations and lowercase does matter so just copy and paste and then give it a wallet name just like any other wallet in hive os then we need to go to our flight sheets and create a flight sheet for this particular miner now me personally there's two miners that I utilize one is the one that I just showed you uh, through the metapool.tech website for Windows right the Alephinum miner the other one is BZ miner the problem with this is as I mentioned earlier I had issues and the pool devs had to help me out is for some reason something was happening with this miner and this isn't the fault of you or the pool the the BZ miner devs need to adjust some things now I don't know the entire back-end details of what was going on but all I can say is my IP was blocked and I stopped mining it would say when you're looking at your miner it will actually say fail to connect retry and um, you know secondary pool or whatever so if you get a yellow script saying that it can't mine on BZ miner or that it, can't, it failed to connect then check with the devs on discord or telegram or wherever you are to see if there's something going on maybe your IP got blocked but you can download BZ Miner just like we do with any other miners. As far as the normal miner that looks like we can download for Windows, when you download it, it detects AMD or NVIDIA and downloads the appropriate miner. So if I had an AMD GPU in here, it should automatically connect. In the flight sheet, we choose our coin, we choose our wallet, and then we choose to configure a miner, and then we set this miner to custom. But we have to go get it. So to get it, when we click on Hive OS, sometimes when we hit download flight sheet it would actually download something but they updated it last night so instead it opens up this page but here's the file of the miner that we need to download right here and it actually goes to a page like this which is a uh, gitlab.com and you can see here the various versions and stuff like that and if we scroll down it tells us how to set it up but if you follow my lead I will help you out so now we need to set up miner config we put in the installation URL and all of this is going to change. Boom. 
Then we put up our, our wallet worker template and then pull URL. We can go back to this main page and at the top of the page, there's our URL. Now, typically I like to use the stratum TCP, uh, you know, backslash, all that good stuff, apply changes, and we should be able to mine with this custom miner. If you don't like the custom miner, just use BZ miner, but you can see I have the custom one set up right here. I'm just using BZ and this is my exact configuration. Exact configuration, same thing that I just showed you. That's how I have it all set up. I just don't have the Stratum TCP and everything. So if I do have issues with this custom miner, I will let you know in the description. But to get started mining, you can just copy this BZ miner one that I have for Hive OS. Here's my config, pause the screen, do what you need to. Here's my BZ miner config for Hive to get you up and running and here are all the options that I selected. And that shows that I am mining to this pool. I have a couple of GPUs that are down right now because the clocks weren't applied correctly. That's a problem that I can fix um, because it, it, it took over my flux overclocks to this one. So each GPU performs differently on different algos. More importantly, look at the ping or latency, 134, 241, 522 is bad. So you really want to stay, if, since I'm connecting to the EU, I knew there was going to be latency, but you really want to stay below 200. And you can see that I'm hitting that, but averaging around 140, 130, somewhere in there, which is quite fine. Until there's a pool in the US that I don't know of at the time of filming, um, this is the best pool, in my personal opinion, for us to use. But that's pretty much it to get started on mining. If you want deeper dives on like the full node and how to set it up uh, with the full, the full setup, uh, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, Check them out. Join their Telegram Discord. Um, the Metapool team has their own Discord and everything as well. You, if you scroll down to the bottom of the website, if you need any help, hit them up. That's pretty much going to do it for me today. That's how you get started on Windows and Hive. With This is a learning process. Even though I just showed you a video on it, you may learn something new. And if you do, I want you to share it down in the comments below on this video. If you know something that I didn't go over, that insight that you can provide other miners, please feel free to do so down in the comments, but I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Are you gonna consider mining a lithium? If not, why? If you are, what's up? What are you getting? What are your clocks? What are your GPUs? All that data is super useful and I thank all of you for stopping by. Besides that, uh, hit the like button on the way out. Get subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell. Check out the links in the description that help support the channel and what we do here. And you all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.